Hello there. Welcome to day five of testing our beliefs. The brush we'll be using tonight is my Matthew North Marty Brush Guy brush. You can find him at brushguy.com on Etsy. Highly recommended. Uh, I've used this like three days. This will be the third day in a row. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I've wanted one of these for a very long time, so I'm going to enjoy it for a little bit. It has a three band Virginia Shing 22 millimeter silver tip knot in it. And our razor tonight is my Mula R41 on my old type handle. I love this. I, I've put it on uh, the old type. I've put it on the new, Hong Kong new. I put it on my uh, fat handle, tech handle. I put it on my black bakelite handle, tech handle. And the look of this silver vintage old type handle on this head, this is my favorite look. That to me. Is a fantastic combination and it's a good combination shaving wise as well now for the blade tonight normally I use during this series I've been using a an Astra SP a brand new one every day and I'll continue that uh, when we go to the uh, mild razor portion of this exercise uh, but I kind of want to I know this razor now pretty well. I kind of know what to expect out of it with the new blade and all of that. So what I want to do is I want to move on to like a couple of blades that I've got a, a use or two on. Now this is the blade we're using tonight is a uh, crystal. This has one shave on it. See the little black dot here? This has one shave on it and I normally get about six shaves off of a crystal blade there uh, these and the persona med preps I know some people don't get along with personas uh, my face loves the med preps I get about six shaves out of both of those blades and four or five out of uh, the lab blues but uh, so this has only got one shave on it. It should be almost brand new. It's a much sharper blade than the SP. Just uh, just want to see a little bit what this razor does with a few different. Now that I know what to expect. And the soap for tonight is Meisner Tremonia's Dark Limes. And this is a fantastic scent. It is unlike any other lime, lime scent I have ever used and uh, I will talk more about it as we get moving with the shave. Let's move on down to the scuttle and the sink area so that we can begin this shave. I've had the Meisner soak in a bit because it is a hard putt in my opinion. Uh, this is wonderful stuff. This soap has a it has the limes to it but dark limes is a really really good uh, name for this soap because there's a darkness in it. Uh, an earthiness to it. To me, the soap smells like it's got a bit of, you know, when I said earthiness, I really meant earthiness. There's an earth or almost a dirt quality to the scent of this soap. Now, you might think that that would be a bad thing. But it actually works really well. 
Now this soap, the pre boom or the pre, the proto lather that I've got here, has got almost a grayish tinge to it. And I don't know. That's got something to do with the ingredients. It's not something that bothers me. It's just something I would mention because it's a characteristic of the soap that's a bit different from other types of soaps that I have used. Now, as I begin to lather this soap, that lime scent is coming up really, really powerfully. I, I get some of that earthy scent too, but the lime, just from the scuttle now, it will probably be different once I put it on my face, but from the scuttle itself, I get that earthiness to it still, but there, that lime is just, boom, popping out really well. Lovely. It's got some small bubbles in it that, uh, this soap has a tendency to have in it. Meissner. Uh, I tend to beat it just a bit more. I tend to beat it. Uh, there are other soaps that do that. That you have to kind of beat good. To try to get that out. Uh, I have shaved with it. Uh, without doing that. And it's fine. <laughs> I just prefer to smack it around a bit more. You guys know how I am about that. Uh, I really think we fail sometimes to work our lather. But Meisner's description of this soap... Uh, Sensual, black, inspired by centuries-old soap recipes from West Africa. Fresh lime juice, copious amounts of organic shea butter, and grassy, tangy aroma of lemon, pettigrain, and I cannot pronounce it right, but Litsia Kubeba, L-I-T-S-E-A, and then C-U-B-E-B-A. Uh, this is also available as a pre-shave soap. If you're into that kind of thing, I can't imagine it would be bad. Uh, the Meissner soaps have a a wonderful uh, performance, a wonderful quality to them. The post shave on them is is beautiful. That right there is absolutely. Mm, the scent on this soap is flipping gorgeous, man. Uh, mm, this brush is almost as soft as my Plisson uh, with painting strokes like that. Just beautiful. Lovely. The uh, just what I expected, pretty much. By the way, the Meisner soap is slicker than snot, but that's what I expected with that crystal blade. One of the reasons that I, I love the crystals is because they're really, really sharp, but they're really, really smooth on my face. Uh. In my opinion, although I've read a couple of reviews that said otherwise, with a middle of the road kind of blade, like even with that. Because I consider an SP 
like a jack of all trades. It's a really uh, middle of the road kind of blade that just works. So, uh, with a middle of the road blade, like the Astra SP, this razor is really smooth. But, that crystal just kicked it up a notch. That's lovely. Uh, wonderful smoothness from that razor and that blade. And I could stop right there and have a, a really good uh, shave, really presentable shave. And, and I could do that with my with pretty much any razor I have, though. Uh, but it's a lovely razor. Well worth its price. I, I could say this was a gift from Steelman off of the shave nook, so I didn't pay a dime for it. But... I can see why people like this razor. I would be sad if I lost it. Uh, it's a good razor. Really smooth. One of the things I have noticed, though, there is that over the chin, there's a lot of, a bit of, rather, not a lot, a bit of what some people might term blade chatter. To me it's just a feeling of the blade. You can feel the edge of the blade a bit more distinctly. And it likes to act like it's going to grab when it goes over the chin. It's just that one area uh, that it does it in. Now, I can tell that here, this shave, I can already tell that I have gotten some irritation all along here on my neck. Uh, to be honest though, some cold water, that uh, that can happen with any DE that I own, even the mildest super speed that I own. If, if I don't watch it, I can get irritation on the neck. Uh, the difference is that I don't believe that I used any pressure there. With uh, with something like a super speed, you either have to use a lot of pressure or too much pressure, not specifically a lot, but too much pressure, or uh, you have to go over the thing a couple of times in order to get that. With this razor, I have noticed that it, I guess because it's more aggressive, it is more prone if you're not careful to give you irritation. That's something you have to deal with with any razor, though. Uh, that's the way that it goes. The only razor that I use that never gives me any kind of irritation is a straight razor. 
any other DA I own or SE I own, I can get it if I'm not careful. So anyway, that's why you see me all the time. Even a lot of times with a straight, I'll do two passes and a touch up. That's all I need. And so, you know, and it's better off for me and my skin. So uh, the aftershave that I'm going to use is Jason Moore, some Irish guy shave soaps, bog water. If you haven't tried this aftershave, you are missing out. It's incredible. And this aftershave really, really goes well with this dark lime. Meisner Dark Limes, and also North, Captain's Choice North, that earthy, piney type of scent, oh man, that aftershave is just a bomb, dude, anyway, and I'm gonna, I have oily skin, so sometimes, I know a lot of people slam alcohol bombs, but you really have to go by your skin type, and I have a very oily type of skin. So alcohol dries your skin. With me, sometimes I really need that the drying property of an alcohol aftershave uh, to uh, help manage the oiliness of my skin. So that's a thought as well. But anyway, just fantastic stuff. Wonderful shave. Once again, Mula R41. Uh, this time with a crystal blade, lovely stuff. Uh, and I did get some irritation, and I do feel a little bit of burn, but it's mild. And in an hour's time, my face will feel wonderful. I won't even notice it. So lovely shaver. Uh, God bless you. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.